Marketing departments invest a huge amount of time and resource segmenting their consumer base, understanding their ideal consumer profile, and determining how best to reach and influence the people they most want to do business with. For PR, brand and marketing people, it's just as important to know your target audience in the online world as it is in the traditional offline world, maybe even more so, because people who show their allegiance to your brand online may not fit into your existing segmentation model. We're going to look at a robust way of producing detailed segmentation for Facebook fan pages, which goes far beyond the gender, age and location demographics available through standard Facebook metrics. Let's use UK supermarkets as an example. It's not uncommon now for well-known consumer brands to have hundreds of thousands of Facebook fans. Tesco has more than 800,000 brand fans for its main corporate page, while Sainsbury's has almost half a million. Both those businesses have long histories of complex CRM programs, helping them to understand consumer preferences, buying behaviours, lifestyle habits and brand allegiances. Naturally, they do this to make the targeting of their marketing more effective, with a view to increasing sales. Their Facebook fan base could be a rich and complex source of insight to supplement traditional market research techniques. However, these fans remain a largely unknown quantity, because even if supermarkets look at their Facebook insights on a regular basis, the data they find only helps them understand their fans very superficially. What they really need to know is what kind of people respond to certain online prompts, how they participate in the conversation, what motivates them to engage with the brand, and how they feel about it. Those are the insights that make customer relationship management more effective and increase brand loyalty and sales. Take the UK supermarket example we see here. Let's look at the bargain hunter segment. Of course it's important to know where they live, how old they are, and whether they are male or female. But do you know which kinds of Facebook posts they are most likely to react to? Will they participate in conversations only about special offers and vouchers, or is product quality also a consideration in their buying decisions? Do they have broader interests, for example in products such as financial services, which may represent better value when purchased from a supermarket? Spectrum Insights Facebook segmentation discovers as much as possible about those who like your page, helping to determine the basis of competitive advantage and generate genuine consumer insight rather than meaningless metrics. What emotions and motivations are they expressing in their Facebook comments? Are they angry at perceived overpricing by competitors? Are they excited by the prospect of saving enough money to be able to afford treats and luxuries? This approach to segmentation provides a deeper level of detail about the typical profile of individuals who fall into a particular segment. Through our comprehensive text mining approach, we can say not only whether they are more likely to be male than female, but also give an overview of their lifestyle and interests, whether they prefer sports to cinema, are married or single, whether they are brand loyal or shop around. Our strength in interpreting qualitative data and turning it into quantifiable conclusions and concrete actionable evidence enables us to reveal what they think about specific products, which brands they love and hate, and even whether Facebook posts increase their likelihood of buying something in particular. A particular advantage is that we can spot advocacy language and help identify people who are spreading the word about their supermarket of choice. If people recommend your brand online, they're almost certainly doing so in the real world, among their friends, family and colleagues. Knowing where these people are on a Facebook page allows them to be grown and rewarded as brand advocates. This can be particularly useful for PR and marketing purposes. It's amazing how much can be learned about consumers. Just as focus groups and surveys provide feedback to help develop consumer relationship tactics, online comments are a rich source of clues. The advantage is that online insight reveals trends as they evolve, rather than after the event. For digital teams, it's crucial to understand how customers behave online too. 
people in certain segments will be more likely to like, comment on or share different types of content. In the case of our supermarket example, some may like to upload pictures, others may like to share recipes. Some groups may completely resist Facebook surveys about their shopping habits, while others embrace them. Another vital factor in the equation is how influential are people in a given segment. When they comment or share, is it likely to reach a large group of friends or an insignificant number of other people? Facebook Insights and tools such as Social Bakers offer very good analytics. What they cannot provide is the rich seam of insight that Spectrum Insight gathers from actual consumer comments and conversations. The ultimate goal of a Facebook segmentation, once you've worked out who is on the page, is to work out how to speak to them effectively, in a way that furthers the business aims of the brand. Using the same vocabulary as people in one segment, instead of a superior corporate tone, for example, can drastically improve interaction levels. Identifying which words they use most frequently has two benefits. Firstly, it can reveal more about the behaviour and personality of those speaking. Secondly, it allows those keywords to be dropped into conversation as a way of identifying with the consumer and furthering the relationship. This is extremely important for PR and marketing to help improve engagement. At an even more basic level, Looking at trends over time can highlight the nature of different types of conversation at various times of day or on certain days of the week. For example, are consumers more inclined to discuss food recipes in the morning but cocktail recipes in the afternoon and evening? Such detail can mean the difference between good and really strong engagement with consumers. If this has made you wonder about who might be on your Facebook fan page, do give one of us a call. We'd be happy to talk about how Facebook segmentation could make good sense for your organisation. Meanwhile, thank you for listening.